Hey there, cranky, uh, cranky old man Hargrave reporting from the road. So just checked in with my Airbnb, which is a fine Airbnb. Finding it was extremely difficult and frustrating. <clears throat> and uh, the instructions just weren't that good. I actually had to call the person to get on the phone to have him guide me. He said, it's one right by the road. I said, but there's lots right by the road. Well, just look for the Airbnb inside. But, you know, I finally saw the Airbnb sign. It's just tiny, hidden away. And I finally said, you know, it might be good to send people uh, some written directions of like a map. Here's where it is. Circle it. Take photographs from a lot of different angles so they can see it. You know, literally do a map, draw the thing so people can see it and study it. He said, well, you know, some people, they just, uh, you know, they just enter the address and follow the instructions that I give and they find it really easy and they just say, hey, we're here. Some people. <clears throat> so here's the thing. Whatever your business is, you've got to make the systems work for the lowest common denominator, you know? I mean, unless you really don't want those people as clients and you never want to see them again. You've just got to make it work for the people who, um, who, yeah, you got to make just got to make it work for those people because I could hear it in his voice he was clearly not going to change anything he says well this works for most people it didn't work for you I don't care that's what I heard in his voice and you know this doesn't win people back this doesn't have people say oh I really feel seen and heard for the frustration it's very easy for locals I see this all the time locals give instructions and they're the kind of instructions that work for locals. So whatever it is you do, and you may think this doesn't apply to you, because, oh, I do, you know, coaching or massage therapy or holistic stuff. It's still the same. You know, people would say, uh, oh, yeah, most of my clients feel really comfortable saying no to me, you know, when I'm giving them a massage, tell me what doesn't feel good. Yeah, but some people don't. And you've got to factor in for those people. You've got to really make sure if that's very important for you that people say no at the right moment and let you know when it hurts. You've actually got to build systems in, such as, look, can I? Can we just try something? How does this feel? Good or not? Good or not? How about this? Okay, here's the deal. If anything feels weird or bad at all, you have to tell me. Deal? Okay, deal. <clears throat> You've got to make the space for this. I remember I went to a workshop called uh, Love, Intimacy, and Sexuality, and the whole first exercise was just saying no to each other, practicing saying no. You say, oh, but it's so easy to say no. No, no, no. You've got to account for the fact that these things are difficult. Just like you've got to account for the fact that a lot of people have a hard time finding the place, just physically finding the place. And you can say, oh, it should be easy. My instructions work for a lot of people. You can do that. Or you could just say, look, I'm going to have compassion that this is very difficult and frustrating for people. And I'm going to make it easy as possible. I'm going to tell people, look, it's really hard. Traffic moves pretty quick around here. Uh, here's a good place to park nearby. You know, that's very obvious that you'll see if you want to orient yourself. You want to make it as easy as possible. Um, there are lots of examples I could give for this. But, you know, God, I just plead on behalf of all of us who have a hard time with certain things. Make it easy for us. Don't make us struggle. Don't make us work. Don't make us go through the frustration of trying to find the place. Make it easy. People, thank you for it.